Hi, it's Daniel Murphy, and we've got a co-dominant that split out this last windstorm. Big oak tree, and look at this thing. That's probably four and a half feet diameter there, and a lot of trees still up there, plenty of tree. Big, heavy thing. And let's take a look at the decay associated here. Obviously, look at this wood. Clearly punky white rot. Just really light, fluffy wood in here. And but a lot of good wood here. Look at all this wood in the trunk here. So what we have here is on this side, we got definitely some callus growth here and here, and then some decay associated with that codom. And then this is like an included bark area here. You can just see the old bark remnants of that. And that was pushed up against there. That included bark there. In the center here though, that would have been an area where the inclusion was a lot longer, a lot more pressure built up. So that got killed off, all that cambium, and then it just started dying and rotting. And we have all this white rot here, a lot of this dark stuff in here. We got a hole in here, and let's just see how, how deep that hole goes. Sounds like a drum in there. Can you hear that? So... Quite a few inches just of cavity there but then look let's look at the rest of the tree you know the bark looks good here there's not a lot of deformation in the bark these nice buttress roots look really really strong and healthy here so if this was a single stem tree and you look at, and you looked at that flare with all those nice buttress roots out there and what do we have here I think there might be a little bit of a funk in here maybe a little bit in in that little corner there and then over here got another little seam running up here but it's so small relative to the size of the trunk of this tree and then all these beautiful strong buttress roots so clearly it's just the co-dominant here that was the cause of the decay and uh, eventual failure of this tree now if this tree had been cabled which would have taken a lot of cables and they better be put up there high you know you could have put three four five cables up there and put them up high hold these two together that probably would have kept this tree alive indefinitely because this decay would not have been much if, if the rest of the tree was sound and was able to balance itself out so there's the forensic tree assessment on this one again we got a lot of good wood here and just nice clean looking bark just nice full deep ridges in the bark there's no deformations nothing looking too funny there just the co-dominant issue and here we have a tree on the ground and this one's got to go look how big that tree is and then there's that busy road right there and all these trees it's really hanging out more towards this hillside here all these trees on the hillside could just get wiped out the whole hillside it might even hit that house over there certainly could tips could even reach the road here this is how big this tree is i'm going to say 125 135 feet on this guy so that's going to dwarf the bucket truck's ability to get it down we're going to get it done one way or another all right daniel murphy thanks for watching have a great day